Hey, I'm Kristen with Blazing Milestones. I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and mom of a 29 week old. I'm working with Jace today in getting him to tolerate more weight through his arms. And by doing so, I use this little mat. This is a workout mat that I have that has a good amount of thickness and it's pretty firm. I also, when I'm downstairs, I'll use couch cushions. I'll just take the couch cushions off. Something that is a good thickness or a good height off the floor and then go onto something flat. It could be a rug, it could be a hard surface, whatever you want your baby to weight bear on. But what we're encouraging is your baby to start pushing off against gravity but taking more weight onto their arms so that their body, instead of being flat with the floor, almost is a little bit more inverted when you push them forward. So you're gonna take some motivational toys for them and then you're gonna push them so Oh, ooh, you went on to all fours there. See how he's rocking on all fours? What I want him to do is put his hands on the floor and half of his chest is off of the mat. So he has to take more weight onto his arms to hold himself up. If his arms let go, he almost will go on a diagonal and fall forward down. You can place toys in front of your baby for them to reach so that they start to take the weight. You can keep your hand underneath their chest to help them when they need some of that weight, or you can just see how they do being on the surface where they're in a little bit more of a diagonal and they have to actually work hard to find toys, reach for toys, and take on that weight. The weight through their arms on this inverted angle is going to help them when they get onto all fours and start rocking, which he already started doing, which he's not gonna do now because he's got the toy, right? Do, 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 do. Oh, are you on your hands and knees? Wow. He's not quite ready for that. See how he's already fussing and annoyed? All right, sorry, I annoyed you. So he's not quite ready for hands and knees and that's okay. We're gonna keep working on our tummy on an inverted surface so that he takes more weight, more of his body weight is going forward and he has to work really hard to push, push up. Your baby may only tolerate a few seconds, your baby may tolerate 30 seconds. Go to your baby's tolerance and what they are willing to try. Where is that? Where's Dory? and give your baby breaks in sitting or another position where they don't have to work as hard and they can be reassured before you go back and they're happy and calm for the next exercise. Ready? Where's Dory? Where's Dory? You gonna get her? Oh, get Dory. Oh, get Dory. And now we're back at it. We'll see how long he lasts. But he's pushing up on those arms and he's trying really hard to get that toy. He may reach for it. Or he may just kind of stay and figure out how to move his body and keep his body upright on this surface. So get a couch cushion, get a pillow, something where your baby has to actually work with the weight of their body against gravity that's not completely flat. This will help for all fours and for crawling later on. Was that tough work? Was that tough work? So we didn't last as long that time, so I'm just gonna give him a break and then we will do it again in a little bit. Bum, 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 bum.